Good morning. My name is Dr. Alexander Arthur, pastor of Word of Life Christian Center International here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we're going over the seven reasons why we should thank God in this Thanksgiving season. One, we said we should thank God for life, the life that he is, that he's given to us as well. Then we also must thank God for Jesus, who when this life uh, was uh, afflicted, contaminated with sin, he shed his own sinless blood so that we can have his life again. And then we thank God for the Holy Spirit, who is the agent of the Trinity, who went about whispering to our ears, who went about touching our hearts to make us know that God loves us and he wants to reclaim, to redeem us back to himself. And then we said that we want to thank God for his holy angels that he has sent to see to it that they protect us and watch over us and we, uh, so that we don't even dash our foot against a stone. They are also the ones who go about uh, excelling, doing the commandments of God uh, as we give voice to his word. Now, uh, so we, we really truly have a lot to thank God for. But today I want to talk to you about thanking God for his word. You know, uh, the word of God is the wonderful um, uh, substance. Even though the word of God is a person, uh, but we should look at the word of God as the seed. Or in fact, let me put it this way. That as the container of the seed that God uses to, to deposit in us, in the spirit of our soul, in the spirit of our body, in our spirit, I should say, that, 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 that this seed that is deposited in our spirit can bear fruit for us. So the word of God is like a seed. And this seed is given to you and I so we can sow the seed into our spirits and bear fruit of the seed which will be the fruit of the word, so we can harvest the word. Now, you should know that Jesus said that to him that believeth, believeth what? God's word. All things are possible. Then he says that with God, nothing is impossible. So if you can take the word of God as a seed and deposit it in your spirit and speak it out because you believe it, Jesus said that nothing will be impossible to you, just like nothing is impossible to God. So we thank God for his word. It is the container that contains the seed that we can deposit, plant, sow into our spirits to have the benefit of the fruit, to have the benefit of the harvest. I said God himself is getting the harvest or getting the benefit by speaking his word. So God said, that let there be light, and there was light. That's his word. And here we are when we say what God said, that we are the healed of the Lord, then we can get that to happen to us because in that word is a seed that contains healing. And it says if you can believe that and speak it, you can have what you say, and you will in that regard be doing what God the Father does. So this time giving says we want to thank God for his word. He lost us so much that he has given us his word as a means by which we can function and operate as God himself would if we were here on this earth. Oh, God is good. He's good to his word. He's faithful to his word. May you speak his word and may you get the harvest from his word. God bless you. Remember, Jesus is Lord. And with all you're getting, get understanding. For the word of life changes lives and love never fails. 